Hello and welcome to the Underground Tech Services. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to update the firmware on one of our LED fixtures using Updaterator. For this demonstration I'm using a Gadget 2 interface but you can use our Update Whip, a Gadget 1, a console or a net free gateway. I have my Gadget 2 connected to my computer via USB and my fixture connected to the gadget using a standard 5 pin DMX cable. Firstly, we need to make sure that we have the latest firmwares downloaded from ETC. To do this, in Updaterator we're going to go to Setup Versions and we can see here that I don't have any firmwares currently downloaded. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press the Download Latest Software button and what Updaterator is going to do is it's going to go out to ETC and fetch all the latest firmware for all of our products. OK, so now Updaterator has finished downloading all the firmware files from ETC, we can see that we now have the latest version of every firmware available installed on our computer. This is indicated by the equal symbol next to the, the selected firmware. If we need to, we can download a version of firmware to match other versions on site, meaning we don't have to have the latest version on our computer. So, for instance, we can select a CM3 and say we have a load of racks on site that are running version 1.5, we can then hit the download button and override the version that's on our computer with version 1.5. Now we are confident that we've got the firmware files on our computer, we can now hit the done button and proceed to update. Here we have the little picture of the hand which is saying that it has detected the Gadget 2 interface. What we now need to do is click the USB slash DMX devices button. We will now get the update screen come up. We have the option down here to select the port number of the Gadget 2 interface as the Gadget 2 has two outputs, whereas a Gadget 1 or an Update WIP will only have one. Then we are going to click Next and we are going to select the fixture type. We are updating a Source 4 LED and we are going to click Next. Now this screen is something that you may want to pay attention to. Here in my example I only have one fixture but we do have the option to update multiple fixtures. If we select update one fixture, the, up, the fixture will require a handshake from Updaterator, whereas with multiple fixtures, it does not. So I'm going to select one fixture, and now you can see Updaterator is, is passing the code and rebooting the fixture for download. As you can see here, the fixture is now rebooting for download. Once the fixture has rebooted, it, you can see here it will now start displaying Please Start Software Download. As you can see here, Updaterator has nearly finished sending the code to the fixture. Once it is done, the fixture should reboot and operate normally. As you can see here, the fixture has now successfully received its software update and is ready to go. Now I'm going to show you how to update a fixtures firmware using a net free gateway. As you can see here in my list I have a net free gateway online and ready to go. It is also running equal software to what I have installed on my computer. So to update this fixture I'm going to click on RDM devices, I'm going to select the fixture I want to update. In this instance we're still using the same source or LED. I'm going to hit next and here it's going to give me a list of all my gateways and all their ports. We can transmit the software over multiple ports on a, on a gateway and even multiple gateways. So in this instance I'm just going to output on port 1 of my only gateway that I have online. And then to start I'm going to hit the begin update button. So this screen is showing us the status of the transmit on all the ports on this gateway. Since we are only using one port, it's going to grey out the others. This process can take around 30 to 40 minutes, depending on how many fixtures you have online. It's also worth noting that on the gateway's display, we now show DNLD to show that the port is in download firmware mode. 
Thank you very much for watching this video and if you have any problems or questions please do not hesitate to contact your local ETC tech support.